Welcome to Trula Bedrock, a server home to 16 Minecraft YouTubers, but primarily to shenanigans. Still, even with moons crashing down and shops becoming sentient, I do feel that this season's mysterious occurrences really do take the cake. My name is Lexpe and welcome to World Builders, or, you know, that's what we're calling it. We still don't actually know whether or not that's their actual name. <laughs> Now, we as players encountered world builders very recently, but as it turns out, they've been in the backgrounds of our videos pretty much throughout the entire season. The first appearance of a world builder is actually the most distressing one. It's always strange to encounter something supernatural, but it's extra bad when that something is tied to pretty much the very core of the game. Case in point, the first ever world builder sighting on the server happened when JCB, Liara, Gruva, and T-Storm went into a stronghold and straight up did not find an end portal in it. While they were talking the situation through, a person clad in seemingly construction worker outfit appeared in the room and then promptly ran away as soon as it realized that there are actual people in here. So is this all for nothing then? I'm guessing so, maybe, I don't know, this is, this is very strange. Yeah, I mean, we saw the pretty mountain at least, right? It was mm -hmm. fun. This alone is concerning enough. You won't want to see people who you haven't added on your server, but it's extra suspicious that this world builder in particular seemed to have been holding onto an end portal frame, a blocked unobtainable in survival, and also, you know, pivotal to having an, an end portal. I am selling blaze rods in town. I know it's a poor substitute, but they're for sale, just saying. And it only got stranger from there on out. My own videos were also a subject to the wall builder sightings. One of them appeared at a key point in my life when I realized that I've been kind of eating my villagers every night. Today is a monumental freaking episode because today we'll finally deal with uh, the problem with this villager over here. And then another one was seen in the background when I discovered for the first time that I have in fact transformed into a husk. I still look like, like this. Why am I looking like this? That's because I'm a freaking husk apparently now. And it is indeed distressing because there's no actual telling whether or not the world builder was just observing my transformation out of curiosity or did in fact have something to do with this process. The general pattern of their sightings continued. Every now and again, one would show up in the background and disappear as soon as it realizes that it is in fact on camera. An especially oblivious one actually shows up in Jesse B's video just kind of walking in the background across a bridge, no doubt examining the fine craftsmanship that Jesse put into it. In the last episode, we worked on this bridge behind us, which I have to say, I am still really happy with. I think that we accomplished the main goal. I think it is a wow factor. I think it's gorgeous and I cannot be more happy. Another one actually accidentally interrupts Zap's time lapse by discovering his camera and just examining it for a moment. And though these sightings do help take a better look at them, they still don't answer this question. Are they but an idle observer or an active player within the realm of Trula Bedrock? And the first hints to the answer reveal themselves to us in a Lirara video, where she finds an unupdated source block of water, which clearly has generated wrong. I love water like this. I love magic water. I wish that I had some way that I could, like, voluntarily make it. While Liara goes with the, her own business, you can just about spot a world builder roaming in the background, trying to accomplish something of sorts. And soon enough, when Liara re-examines the spot where the water was broken, it is in fact fixed, updated and flowing. I'd figured that there was gonna be waterfalls around here anyway, but this is gonna be a nuisance to have to deal with. And sure enough, maybe it just got curious and updated the water blocks by accident. But that theory kind of falls apart when in one of the next Liara videos, we see a world builder actively seek out the dragon egg hidden in Liara's house and take it for themselves in an act which 
usually would be just a blatant theft, but is actually much more interested when examined thoroughly. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here and you want to hang out again next time, hey, subscribe. Take care, everybody. Toodles! You see, Liara's Dragon Egg is incredibly special. Every Minecraft server is only allowed one. However, on Truly Bedrock, the dragon bugged out and for some reason just randomly gave Liara and JC another dragon egg when they fought it. The wall builder here can be seen as remedying that bug. But from here on out, their motives get a little bit more muddled and their methods way more sloppy. After this occurrence, the wall builders would frequently be actually spotted and actively chased by the players on the server. Sound Whisperer discovered one right in the potato to beetroot field that him and Tistov have been previously fighting over. Naturally, when Silent calls out to them, they disappear. Fill in the crater down there, because that was not like that. There's a person down there actively filling it in, but uh, who exactly is that? And now they're gone. But well, we gotta check this out, because that's not somebody that I have ever seen. <laughs> what is up with this? Okay, where did they go? I spotted one in my mesa, reburying the surface level mine shafts that truly shouldn't have spawned surface level in the first place. <gasps> I found one! <laughs> this one <laughs> in particular. A little bit completely bonkers uh, to just be on the surface like that. No, look, I've heard about surface spawners, but surface double spawners? This is kind of ridiculous. Wait, who is that? Uh, um, I guess that's Foxy being weird again. Not even live streams are safe. Marable Jake, who only ever streams on the server and doesn't really make YouTube videos, has stared one down live on Twitch. What's that? Um, what's that? Who's that? What the? It, wait, it, it, what, what did I just see? That, was that Foxy being weird? Was that one of Foxy's things? But perhaps the most blatant offense is one of the world builders running out of Liara's basement right as she was home. We later speculated that the reason the world builder was even in her basement was specifically to fix the experience furnace that was given infinite experience to her as a result of a bug. Hello? L hello? What? Door. Hello. Where? Who? The absolute heck was. I. Okay, I'm sleeping. Then I'm seeing where this went. Who's even on right now? Who? Who is even on right now? A lot of people. That could easily be anybody. That. But not every meeting with a wall builder resulted in tragedy. Foxy No Tails' friend Big Chicken has recently found himself dying in lava with a whole shulker box of bread. Something that really upset the poor bird. XP, quick, help! Oh no. My bread! Hold my uh, bread! Well, that's... And not 10 minutes later, a wall builder appeared to sneakily put a shulker box full of bread right in front of Big Chicken eyes, seemingly to remedy the issue and lift their spirits. My bread! My bread! <laughs> What? What is my? Huh? This is my brain! Truly, the motivations of this shadowy, mysterious group remain obscure and confusing, especially when you take a look at Pigglesworth's video. Now, Pigglesworth has his own set of mysterious circumstances. A group of observer faced robots were already collaborating with him, helping him build his base or seemingly just building their own base but getting materials from him. Well, a couple world builders were indeed examining one of the robots when he got them caught on camera. Which makes sense, because I don't think this one little robot could build all of this. Who are those guys? Hello? Wait, where are they going? Uh, that's a long drop. It's still not clear if they were indeed in league with the bots or were simply curious and examining what the contraption actually is. But it's still very clear that the builders are in fact very interested in his persona and keeping tabs on him, as well as seemingly on the rest of the server. But an especially interesting occurrence is actually a point when a true Bedrock member did not actually encounter a wall builder. He did, however, hear them. Oh, and what? What's that noise? Someone else here? Where is it coming from? Roaming the abandoned mine shafts underneath his base, Foxy No Tail has been looking for spider spawners and noticing that quite a few of them weren't in their rightful place. 
And while he didn't see a wall builder anywhere near it, he did overhear a conversation the two of them were having somewhere nearby. Well, that's it, I removed them like you asked me to. I didn't ask you to remove no spotters, Jeff. You did, you did, look, it's written on my timesheet here. If you wasn't so close with the boys, you'd be out to here, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what's that? Quick, where is it coming from? This all, of course, built up to a very recent call-up between several True Bedrock members, when Silent Whisperer and myself have discovered that one of the experienced bugged furnaces that we've been feeding throughout the entire season has indeed stopped giving us infinite experience. So it broke. So it broke. Okay. So it was this time. I mean... After a family meeting was called, we murdered T-Storm, which probably was a bad idea at the time, but because we didn't actually realize what actually was happening. And while a wall builder did indeed arrive to swap the experience furnace for a regular one, and while we did indeed shoot them away and catch them on camera, unfortunately it disappeared into the night before we could ask any questions. All that remains is a hot hat they dropped on the way out. A hot hat engraved with the line Property of the World Builders, which is exactly where the name for them comes from. Prop for World Builder Corp. Hmm, okay. Well, they were wearing hard hats. Did they didn't oh, do any damage, I was kind of like not seeing anything because... Yeah, that was kind of chaotic, cool. wasn't it? We still don't know exactly what their goal is and exactly what the logic is behind them fixing the bugs around the server. But one thing is clear, their presence around the True Bedrock videos is only going to increase. And when it does, I want all of this information in one spot, so that we can make sense of this situation. Yeah, that's what I just told you. Why are you repeating it back to me? Uh, just thought it'd look better with footage and all. Ah, wonderful. So, what you've been up to this whole time? Uh, you know, same old. The all store is buried, the simulation facility you people left in shambles. So I've been slowly picking up the pieces and adjusting to the whole being in survival again. Any success? Well, I made it all the way here, didn't I? <laughs> you seem to have no armor and no tools on you. Okay, this proxy made it here. I have a whole other one sitting back at my base, and I broke a couple getting here. But as long as the remnants of the All-Star are down there, you're not getting rid of me. I should hope so. Well, since you're here, we should have a room free at the tavern. The tiny unfurnished one? Uh, I prefer cozy and customizable. Beats the basement from the last season. Your basement, technically. Well, happy to have you back.